Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Dave from Otaku and today I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to buy and download books from Amazon, uh, from Amazon's Japan website, amazon.co.jp. Um, so if you live outside of Japan, buying things from Japan can be a little bit difficult, especially uh, if you want to try to buy ebooks. Like ebooks are like the main, main topic I'm really gonna be talking about here. Um, and today I wanted to show you how to do that. Uh, this came up for many reasons. One, I've had a lot of people be like, well, um, I wanna do the Tango Deck book series like you um, have been doing and like how Nuke Marine suggests and how Matt suggests from Mavericks Japan. And, um, but I wanna buy the Kindle version because one, it's cheaper and two, it's, uh, <laughs> It's, uh, you don't have to pay like shipping for it, right? So like, if you look right over here, um, you can see even right here, so I'm on the website right now, this is like the N5 Tango book that everybody's been using um, so they can get the hunky deck from Matt or from Nuke Marine. Um, you can see that if you're gonna buy the hard copy version, it's 14 bucks-ish, right? But then you also have to pay shipping on top of that, which is usually like another six or seven bucks. So the book costs like $20. But if you just want the ebook version, you can get it for $11, right? And you can either uh, read that on a Kindle, or you can read it right on your phone, or you can download the app to your, your laptop or computer or whatever. Um, and no matter what, it'll work, right? Uh, so personally, like I have my Kindle hooked up directly to this, um, to my Amazon.co.jp account. And so every time I buy a book on here, whether it be like a tango book or a light novel, or if I get manga, um, it goes straight to my Kindle, which makes my life super easy and, you know, internet connectivity. So um, if you try to go to this website and log in with your normal Amazon credentials, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get kicked out. You're not gonna be able to buy eBooks. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to make a new email address um, or like Gmail or whatever. Uh, so you can name that whatever you want to. I personally named mine after my normal email address and then I just put .jp at the end. Uh, you don't need to do that, but I did that um, because I found it slightly easier to remember though. That's that's my Amazon Japan email, get it? Super cool. Um, the next thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to download a VPN. Uh, the VPN that most people uh, suggest for like Japanese stuff, um, because it also worked with Netflix, which is a great tool. This is the one that Matt First Japan suggested. Is this soft ether VPN? It's free to use. It doesn't really have any uh, bandwidth restrictions or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just a really cool VPN. I mean, it's not going to protect you from, you know, cyber attacks. <laughs> you know, it's not going to hide your what you're doing, but it will put you in a different country, and you can select what country that is. So. Um, all you really need to do is download and install the VPN. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Um, but if you open up the VPN and then you just double click VPN Gate Public, it's going to give you a whole list of um, VPNs to use, right? And you'll notice that it's got like, Japan, it's got Korea, it's got Canada, it's got Russia and Thailand, you know, there's a lot of countries, but obviously we're, we're going to want to be in Japan to use Amazon Japan, right? So um, the higher up on the list, usually the better it is. So just go ahead and click the first one that says Japan. It might not be the very first one on the list. Sometimes it's like Korea is the first one on the list. And then it's going to give you an IP address. Go ahead and close that. So now you are in Japan, or at least your computer thinks it is, right? So now you can use um, Netflix in Japan and you get everything that's offered to them. And they have more stuff obviously offered in Japan with you know, Japanese subtitles and with uh, video services and stuff, like things you can watch. Um, but now also, when you go to Amazon, um, it also thinks you're in Japan. Uh, so the next thing you'll have to do, um, and I guess you don't really need to have the VPN, VPN on to do this, is to create an account, right? So you're just gonna come up here and you're gonna say, you know, you're not gonna be logged in, so you can sign out, you're gonna, um, and you're gonna go to your account and sign in, um, create a new account, right? And what I did, and I don't know if this is a necessary step, but just to kind of like alleviate the pain for certain things, was I put in a fake address. Um, all I really did was I Googled, you know, Shinjuku Youth Hostels, and I took this address right here, and I just put that in. Um, you know, I, I did that personally just to make Amazon happy. Um, I don't know if you absolutely need to put in a Japanese address, but it definitely makes it uh, a little bit more kosher, makes it a little easier. Um, and I noticed that I had less trouble buying stuff, especially eBooks, once I did this. Um, and then you just kind of like go about your day, right? So uh, from there, 
you uh, can still add things to your cart, right? But what about payment, right? So then you could just put in your debit or credit card information just like you normally would, and you can use an American address and that's fine. It's not gonna get like upset that your debit card or credit card is attached to an American address or a Canadian address or wherever else in the world you live. Um, it's just, you know, it's gonna work just fine. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is when you go to purchase something that you have this VPN on, you need to be connected, right? So it needs to be connected. Otherwise, um, it might work one or two times, maybe three times where it'll let you buy something. But from there, it probably won't. Like what I did was I, when I initially set this up like a month or two ago, um, I tried to buy something and it wouldn't let me do it. So after like a couple of things, so yeah. <laughs> but since then, uh, I started using the VPN along with it and it's been working perfectly ever since. And I bought multiple light novels and I've gotten like multiple mangas off here. Um, so another thing you might want to know is, yeah, they have an entire Kindle book section and these will work on either the app or on an actual Kindle or on a Kindle Fire. I personally like using like the Kindle Paperwhite or the regular Kindle that they have, not like the Amazon Fire, because you can put in your own dictionary and I find that to be really, really helpful. But you can just go on here, right? And just buy like whatever light novels you want. Uh, which is a really, really cool resource. So one of the coolest things too about Amazon.co.jp is they offer a lot of free books and manga that you can get if you know where to look, right? So if you just go from the main homepage and you click down here, you go to the Kindle store, right? And you um, search nothing, literally just hit nothing, right? And then you scroll down to the side here where it says Kamiku and then you click on that, it's gonna bring you to like their manga homepage, right? And one of the really cool things that they have here, um, and this, the selection changes kind of like every day. Um, like all these manga that I already have, I've gotten for free. I've never played for manga on, um, for my Kindle because I haven't, because <laughs> I haven't needed to, right? Because I don't actually read like a lot, a lot of manga. So if you just go right here, go to movie manga, it's gonna bring you to a list of manga. And sometimes like today, not the best selection, right? Um, but as you'll see right now, they're all zero yen, which is great. So like you can click on any one of these and you will get a free, any one of these at all in here, right? So like here's great. Uh, you got some free Naruto. People would be happy about that, right? Uh, and Boruto. Um, and there's like a lot of other stuff. You can just kind of keep searching through all here to see what they have. And uh, if you download this, it will go straight to your app or right to your Kindle or whatever. And it's free for you to use from there on. And it doesn't ever get deleted. It just stays. You just got it for free. That's it. And I think the whole point of this is that they want um, people to like be able to get it and then uh, buy the next one. But then they usually put the next one for free up like the next week or pretty commonly. So like you can literally go to a manga, right? And just say, yep, I want this. And then just buy with one click. You see how it's zero yen, but it was six bucks before. And it's the Kindle edition. You can just buy one click now. And then usually it's like, boom, there you go. All ready to go. Cool. Thanks for shopping, David. Good to go. Anyways, guys, so just to cover again what we what you need to do um, real quick. So you need to make a Japanese email. There's no difference between a real email and a Japanese email. It's just an email, but like you designate that for your Amazon.co.jp account. You need to make an Amazon.co.jp account and put in a foreign address. You can use whatever foreign address you want, uh, a foreign Japanese address, of course. Um, it doesn't cost any money. I literally just used one I found on Google. And then you put in your credit card information like you normally would. You download this VPN, this soft ether, right, uh, client. And um, you use that, you put yourself in Japan. And then when you go to buy, uh, you're pretty much good to go. And it'll automatically download to your Kindle. Uh, the only thing you might have to do that we didn't show you today um, is going onto your actual Kindle or onto your device and then all you need to do is log in with your uh, Amazon.co.jp email account. So when you do that, I will warn you that it will, you won't be able to read like anything from your regular Amazon account at the same time. You can log in and out as many times as you want, I think. Um, I don't know if there's an issue with that. I haven't really looked into it, um, but I have like a dedicated Kindle just for Japanese. But if you have the app and you just log in with the app and use it on your, like your laptop or use it on like a tablet or whatever you want to do, it's going to work the same exact way. Uh, and so like if you have a bunch of books on your American or Canadian or New Zealand or whatever um, Amazon account, you're not going to be able to read them when you're logged into your amazon.co.jp account. Anyways, uh, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit and uh, I hope you also learned how to use this soft eater client so that you can get on Netflix. Uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. And if you have any comments, questions or anything like that below, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. And yeah, awesome. Check you next time, guys.